Hey, hello, hello. How are you doing there, YouTube? Nice to see everybody. Welcome back, welcome back. I'm getting ready to do the cards. You know, it's not till you get on the, on the camera that you start seeing things. And I'm trying to adjust so that the reflection isn't near as bad in my my windshield that I've got on here. Um, today we're doing a reading for Capricorn. I always ask for the highest and best. When I shuffle the cards, I do kind of do a silent prayer. I also will take any jumpers, flippers, flyers, cards that choose to get out of the deck because they need to be read. And we refer to those as um, jumpers. And this is for Capricorn. What's going on with Cappy? How's everybody doing today? You know, it's kind of a rainy day here where I'm at in Pennsylvania. But you know what? That's kind of nice. It's been hot. It is, it is hot and humid out. And you know what? I'm feeling like that is good. Capricorn, let's get your energy in here. Any Capricorns in the room? King of Swords. The Lover's Card. The Four of Swords. And the Justice Card. Now, this is a light general reading for Capricorn. It may not resonate with everybody. Um, if it does, take that information that resonates with you and leave the rest. Please come back another time. Um, this couldn't possibly fit every Capricorn. Um, it just couldn't. But if it does, you know, super de duper. Uh, but if it doesn't, stop back and try again next time. I'm updating all the time. Or you might want to check your sun, your moon, your rising sign. Um, you may also be a cross watcher. You know, that could be mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, and uncle trying to just kind of peek in and see uh, somebody else's well being. If you are a past lover, um, ex wife, um, I call you a crotch watcher. <laughs> so there you go. Now, even though the lover's card did come up, um, it does not necessarily, I haven't laid the rest of the cards out yet. This may not necessarily be for a relationship. It can be for um, work, you know, your income, your overall general well-being, or it could be, it could resonate a little bit for romance or your relationship. So we're going to keep going here. You know what? I, I, I see a sense of I don't want to actually say betrayal because I don't think it's been that bad, but somebody has not been being totally honest with you. You know, that's what the, the, the king of the king of swords, he basically look at him sitting there. Um, he's kind of got the sword of um, justice, so to speak. You know, and even though this, you know, this card and actually justice does show up also. Um, I feel like you may um, be vindicated or you're going to get word soon that you're being vindicated about something you've been standing your ground on. Um, and I'm still not sure about that lover's card. Let me keep, I'm going to just keep laying uh, some more cards out and see how it clarifies. We have the four cups. Excuse me, the six of cups. The high priestess and the empress. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um... We've got like one, two, three, four, five, four, four of the major arcana on the table too. And I haven't even got the cards all laid out. The five of pentacles, the two of swords. Yeah, you're about, you're about, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to say you're, you're about ready to just pitch in, but you know, you've are at a crossroads and you're getting ready to make a decision about somebody who's not been forthright with you. They haven't been coming across with the real truth. They haven't been filling you in. They've been keeping secrets and suspicions and things off to them si off themselves. Um, you know, this might be a husband or a spouse in this particular uh, or man, woman. It doesn't um, mean it, it doesn't need to go either way. It can go both ways. Um, the divine masculine or the divine feminine. So, uh, man, I'm just ha having a, a tough time to hang on. Let me have some more coffee. 
but it can go either way. I do feel this is like a married spouse or a long-term relationship. Um, yeah, you know what? I don't think you're leaving, though. I, I just kind of feel like you're, you're just going to, like, close this chapter and say, you know what? Let's um, say this was due to the coronavirus. Let's just say this was due to, um, you know, anything else going on around us. And let's start fresh on this. Um we also have the emperor, and we also have the empress out on the table, too. Um, like I said, you have a pile of major arcana that have are coming up for you. Um, the ace of cups. Yep, yep. New relationship, new opportunity coming. And it's also brought in by the knight of cups right underneath that. The four of wands. Am I going a little fast today? Man, I'm just banging these out. Um, the four of wands. Uh, the ten of swords. And the seven of cups. You know, you've been the have been the one, and the emperor is a card that tells me this that have been trying to keep the peace and hold this situation together. This could be a family, you know, it's some kind of little family dispute or something. Um, you know, I, I can just see that things haven't been real harmonious, but it's not all that. Uh, you know, don't don't let it get blow out of proportion. You know, you've got the the cups, uh, the the ace of cups, and there it is brought in by the Knight of Cups. There's going to be new opportunity coming. Um, you know, you might be feeling like you haven't been contributing like you wanted to. Um, and it looks as though you're going to have a new opportunity for some kind of an advancement. Um, oops, let me see if this is work related. Mm -mm. I don't think it's work. It could very well be a relationship. Could very well be a relationship. Um, you're trying to decide which way you want to go. Um, your hands are kind of tied. You, um, you know, you, you, you've had the blindfold on. You haven't wanted to see the worst in somebody. You know, you've just kind of been hanging in there. But you know, I do see you kind of getting ready to um, head up the road. You're kind of feeling like you, at times you maybe have been left out in the cold and kind of abandoned, but. It is a relationship. Um, we had the Ace and the Knight of Cups. And here we have the um, Six of Cups. And look at those two kids. Aren't they happy? And that's where it's going. Okay? I want you to know that this, however bad it might feel right now, you know, don't let it, don't let it bury you. Um, it, it can, when you feel bad, that whole, that whole vibe has a snowball effect to it. And the worse you feel, the more your brain kind of likes that bummed out feeling. It it releases the same kind of chemical components that um, addicts um, try to find when they're going for a fix. And that's the way drama works. You produce those same kind of hormones and um, serotonins and epinephrine. The, the, uh, that's not the right one, but... Um, Gosh, I can't even think of them, and I'm pretty well versed in those. Um, but it releases the same kind of chemicals in the brain, and, you know, you kind of, like, enjoy feeling bad sometimes. So, um, but we have the Ten of Swords. It did feel like a little bit of a betrayal. Somebody, um, that secret that was being kept wasn't kept very long. Somebody let the cat out of the bag. Um, there was seemed to be a little bit of scrambling going on, and that is by the um, Seven of Swords, kind of trying to run damage control a little bit, not let it get out of hand, not let this thing escalate or snowball. Um, you've been trying your best, Capricorn, to get this um, whole thing in line, uh, but we have the Seven of Cups, too. Again, that's that's opportunity, but there's a lot of chaos that's going to come before that. Before you search through that, expect a little more chaos. But you're going to find that clarity. It's going to come to you. Uh, there's a sleepless nights. Um, there's the uh, eleven of uh, the eleven of wands. Yeah, that's a new one. Uh, the eight of wands. You know, when I I see it, uh, it looks kind of like elevens that way, uh, but it is the eight of wands. And the Queen of Wands. Yeah, you know what? This even could be, um, if it's not a relationship for some of you Capricorns, the other half of you, it may very well be 
the same situation in the work environment because there we have the wands. Queen of Wands is there with those Eight of Wands. And that's usually, you know, um, getting your tasks done. And you know what? She's sitting in complete, that Queen of Wands is sitting there in complete control. Cool as a cucumber. She's not letting anybody else's shit bother her. Um, she's got her little content cat down there at her feet and all is well. However, you have had some sleepless nights worried and fretted over this situation. What should I do? What should I do? Where should this go? How should I end it? What Do I walk away? Do I... Um, say the hell with it and chuck the whole thing. Um, hang on. I just flipped a card out accidentally and stuck it back in. And I wanted to pull that out because even though it looked like the end of the world and things could get pretty ugly, um, it is the beginning. It is the war. The world card came up for you. Um, I, I wish I could have let it fall clear out on the table so you could see it. Um, but everything is going to be better and the world is going to be at your feet. You're going to have some opportunities that are coming. There's going to be choices you're going to get to make instead of having somebody else dictate to you. Wow, Capricorn. Man, that was a lot of information in a short period of time. Um, I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to tell you to hang in there that those good things are coming, Cappy. Um, and as always, I send you guys love and light. Until next time, catch you soon.